एवरी वन वेलकम टू अ फन ट्यूटोरियल ना दिस ले आउट प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई एम मेकिंग टूडे इज फॉर स्क्रैप योर हार्ट आउट इवेंट इट्स अ लाइव स्ट्रीम लाइव स्ट्रीम इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइज बाई टिफनी एंड देर आर अबाउट सेवन टू एट आर्टिस्ट हु आर गोइंग टू बी क्रिएटिंग अ स्क्रैप बुक ले आउट लाइव माइंड इज प्री रिकॉर्डेड and if you search the hashtag scrap your heart out 2019 you can see various other artists as well who have created different sorts of scrapbooking layouts today for the international scrapbooking day so let's dive in for my layout today i have decided to use this kaiser craft paper misty mountains along with the coordinated collectibles and other elements I'm also going to be using some dusty attic chipboards to add uh, elements to my layout. Now, I've already chosen a paper from this paper pack and I'm looking at this color combination of purple blue um slight pink and that's my photo which is going to be the focal. To begin with, the first step is to prime the page. So for this, I'm using clear gesso by Art Basics. uh and completely covering my entire surface this really helps me build my further layers next i'm using this stencil by ab studio and some art art alchemy paints in two shades and randomly stenciling with the help of a sponge so just around where i would like my focal photo Now to add more layers and depth i'm using white modeling paste with another ab studio stencil and adding some more texture again focusing on uh where my photo is and just sort of adding this texture around that now it's time to add some color for this i'm using various lindy sprays and just splattering the color out from the bottle this is a very easy and fun technique but between colors always dry them so that they don't blend together because i'd love to retain each color now it's all about adding my elements so i've already colored my uh, chipboard elements with art alchemy metallic paints and i have picked out certain collectibles as well and i'm using this pink sisal from 13 arts just around my photo and with the help of tacky glue i'm just gluing down all of these elements now to get depth and dimension i'm using the scrap chipboard pieces beneath the photo and beneath certain die cut elements just to add various levels of depth and that's going to give dimension to my entire layout Once I'm happy with this arrangement of the elements that I had picked out, I decided that I'd like to add some flowers to my layout. So for this I'm using Prima Marketing flowers, but coloring them with the Lindy sprays that I've already used for my background. So that will just make them more coordinated and give me the shade that I'm looking for. So as I color the flowers, I'm just sticking them randomly into my entire composition and that further adds depth, color and dimension. Now um, amidst all the other elements I also have a cute little glass bottle which I've just filled with different colors of micro beads that I'm going to add to my layout and my scene. Now once that's done I've also just added some micro beads here and there. and that's a look at my completed layout i'm pretty happy with the result i love the texture the depth and dimension i've achieved and the colors especially purple being my favorite i am quite happy with this result i really hope that you've enjoyed this video today do check out all the artists that are a part of the live stream and like i mentioned check out um other artists by using the hashtag scrap your heart out 
also there are some fabulous sponsors for this event so you can take part and win prizes uh, all the details are in the description box below there's a link to the facebook event page and all the details are mentioned there so do pay all the artists a visit like our videos subscribe to our channel if you really enjoyed it and until the next time take care and bye bye